What's going on y'all? It's Everyday Cache and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, typically on this channel we talk plus size fashion and style, lifestyle and the like. So if you're into any of that, you should definitely go ahead and tap on the subscribe button. In today's video though, I am sharing with you a number of the fall 2022 trends, but I'm actually sharing with you some of the items that I've picked up that actually match those trends and you'll get to see if they are actually fitted for a plus size body. So if you're ready to see what I've been shopping for lately, go ahead and tap on the like button and let's get into it. All right, so as y'all heard me mention, I have been doing quite the shopping. This is pretty much my high season and I think for the most part it is because of two reasons. Number one, it is fashion month in September. And then number two, my birthday is right at the start of October. So I usually find myself just, you know, getting all of the fall and winter fashions. And I must admit, fall and winter seasons are my favorite when it comes to style, because you could add some additional layers, play with quite a few more textures and just do wonders with an outfit. So um, I've been doing a lot of shopping. I've been picking up a lot of things, but I didn't want to hold out or gatekeep from you all, all of the great things that I've been picking up and especially because they match quite a few of the trends that we saw on the Fashion Week runways this year. Now, if you saw my fall trends video, then you would definitely know that one of the classics, it's not really trendy, but something that you can always expect for fall and winter is leather. And this year we're seeing way more colored leathers and other pieces that are leather outside of traditional pants or jackets. So I set out on the hunt for a leather mini skirt because I don't usually wear my legs out as much, um, especially not for skirts, I will usually do dresses. So I went over to Fashion Nova and I found this amazingly cute black PU leather or like a, a faux leather um, kind of split mini skirt and it is everything. I mean, it fit phenomenally and I got this in a size 3X only because I wasn't sure what the fit was gonna be like and I didn't wanna be busting out, okay? Especially because this piece isn't usually the type of garment that I would wear. So I wanted to make sure that I had a little play space that I would be comfortable, that you know wouldn't be um, bulging at my waist or like too snug. This does come with an invisible zipper and a clasp in the back of it. So it is secure. It isn't just like a pull on. And I was really appreciative of that because I do know that faux leathers can tend to stretch out over time, like while you're wearing them. And that can completely change the trajectory of your outfit, right? Um, so yeah, I did grab that in a 3X and I believe it was fairly priced on Fashion Nova's website at no more than $20. Next up, we've seen this trend, especially by the Attica with their black and white cargo pants. You've seen it all over, I'm sure, New York Fashion Week. So many amazing fashion and style creators have these pants or jeans and I just, I couldn't fade it at a thousand dollars and also sizing, right? <laughs> so I set out to find the very trendy, very popular right now, cargo jean cargo jeans and guess where I found them at fashion to figure I have linked down in my description box below all of the items that I'm sharing with you but I am so incredibly excited to get these jeans I did go true to size on these jeans and I hope that I'm able to show you how they fit but if you're not able to see that just in case let's talk about how I intend to style these so I usually feel like I see plus size women go straight for a crop top when they get a good pair of pants that fits nicely around the waist or as high waist but is also flattering to their midsection. And I too have done that before. I've worn cargo pants or camouflage pants or um, high-waisted jeans. And then I've, you know, done a crop top with maybe another layer. And this time I just wanted to kind of shake it up. So what I intend to wear with these jeans is actually not a crop top and it's not a blazer and it's not pointy boots. Um, and that whole look and vibe, I know it's been done before, but I just really wanted to shake it up. So I'm really looking forward to wearing these jeans either with like a slip top and maybe another like garment, like a jacket, maybe kind of a matching or um, patchwork style jacket. So maybe like a satin camisole or something thing underneath um, that's what I mean by like a slip top or I've also been thinking of going completely shaggy on the top like a super feathery or shaggy sweater I think that could be really dope but I just kind of want to you know switch up the vibe so I may hold on to these jeans um, and wear them as we get closer to the winter season because I just imagine that warmer garments are gonna pair really well and give a really cool texture combo for the cargo jeans as well as whatever top 
top that I decide. So these jeans do retail for $60. Like I said, I went through the size and I would recommend that you do the same because they are denim. And again, I have linked them down below. You will want to run, do not walk, because I'm telling you, I can imagine these flying off the shelf, okay? Like immediately. And I had to make sure I secured my pair before I put this video out because I know y'all, <laughs> I know y'all will go get them. But yeah, these are definitely a really cute pair of jeans and I cannot wait to style them. Moving on to item number three, which I've already softly introduced, but it is a shaggy cardigan and I actually have it behind me somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Y'all, the jacket got stuck literally to the green grass backdrop. Like, what? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look, I cannot make this up. I literally just had to pull pieces of the backdrop out and luckily they can be reattached. But look at that. Oh my God. Okay, hang tight y'all. Okay, so as you can see, this is the shaggy cardigan. And baby, she really is shaggy. I like have to be careful because I can already see that the sweater is gonna hang out with me even after I'm done talking about it. Um, but it is super cute. It does shed quite a bit though. But I bought this for a very specific purpose. Like I usually try not to be a fast fashion girl, but I very much was this time and purchased this shaggy cardigan. It is long line by the way, um, but I did purchase this to go with a particular outfit. And because of how it does shed, um, a little bit like it it gives the vibe that like I have a dog um, so it doesn't like shed in big pieces but as you can see like it got a little stuck on this but I am still going to um, I mean we're gonna ride to the wheels fall off with it I'm gonna try and wear it with the outfit that I intended and then we'll see about whether or not you know I am going to either maybe sell it or um, keep it and continue to wear it because I really do try to do that and try to be like sustainable but baby, sometimes it don't be working out for you, girl. Like, I don't know. Let me see. I don't know if y'all can. Yeah, she might have. Ooh, 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 ooh. She might have dropped a couple. Dropped a couple pieces. I don't know. And it's like very fine, you know, like strings of like hair or feather, I guess is what we're calling it. I don't know. But in either instance, I was super excited. This was the look that I was going for. Absolutely love Fashion Doll Face. She sometimes is a um, cool, you know, streetwear muse for me when I need just some like um, really cool pairings of style, like if I need some inspiration. So um, I got this idea from an older photo of hers and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to recreate that a little bit. So I intend to wear this with um, actually the uh, t-shirt dress from the Kalana Barfield Brown line at Target. So y'all be sure to follow me on Instagram because that outfit is gonna be super cute. Like I've already kind of tried it. Like I put the items together and I really, really like how they look. So I'm just excited to like put them on my body yaddy. But if you wanna see the finished outfit, then head over to Instagram, follow me there so that you don't miss out on seeing all of the content. Cause this outfit is gonna be super, super cute. I can, I mean, I just feel it in my shana now. Okay, it's gonna be a good one. So moving on to item number four that I picked up, I could not resist picking up these thigh high boots. Now, I already had a pair of lace up thigh high boots uh, like these in black. And I actually have a really cool hack that if you wanna know how to make most of your boots, if not all of them, um, thigh high and you know fitted for my plus size ladies, okay? Cause thick thighs save lives. Then let me know down in the comments below and I will make that for you. Um, but I have this pair in black and I'm not sure if I wanna wear the outfit with the black pair or with this blue denim pair. I'm kind of up in the air, but yeah, I'm excited cause I do like this pair as well. I'm really glad that I added them into my collection. I am a size 10, so I did get um, these in a size 10. And I'm glad that I did because they fit phenomenally. They zip up the back of the leg. And then of course uh, it does have laces. So yes, these are great. These boots retailed for $35 and you really can't beat that. And they have a chunky heel. So if you are not someone who, you know, walks well in heels, then this is a good one for you because it's gonna give you a little more support. Even though it is still single sole, a chunky heel is sometimes better than a stiletto in terms of, you know, the longevity of wear um, while you're on your, on your heel right because baby if you plus size like me we carrying a whole lot of weight up on that heel 
Now, I love a stiletto, but sometimes the chunky heels just hold us down. So this is gonna be perfect. Um, I intend to wear this probably to like a homecoming shindig or something like that, maybe a day party or brunch or something, but we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm just glad that I went ahead and added these into my collection. All right, so next up, we are moving on into our Amazon purchases. And y'all, these were two really good grabs that I'm excited about. Um, again, because they are super trendy, right? Super in right now, definitely things that you would want to be wearing for these upcoming seasons. So the two pieces that I picked up from Amazon is this corduroy shirt, which you actually see right here, this yellow one. Oh, isn't that color just like super vibrant? I'm so excited, but yes, this yellow corduroy shirt. And then I also grabbed some amazingly cute metallic pants. Y'all, they are so good. Um, I did have very explicit ideas about how I wanted to wear both of these pieces. The corduroy shirt I got on sale. Uh, it was like a lightning deal or something for like 15 or 16 bucks. The pants I got for about 20 dollars or so um, but again you can you know tap the links down below and check uh, to see these pants are going to be perfect like literally perfect for new years and i don't know about y'all but the closer that we get to the end of the year the fewer the like metallic and and rhinestone um sequin and shimmery items like the availability of those items becomes. So be sure to go ahead and grab these pants. If you, you know, are into metallics or you wanna try this trend this year, um, but maybe you're not exactly sure about how to wear it, you've got some good time, but go ahead and buy them now because they are likely going to sell out and not be available if you wait. All right, so did grab those. I did grab them in a size extra large to begin with, and I'm glad that I doubled back and went with the 2X just to give me a little extra room because they are wide leg. I just wanted them to fall a little more um, loosely on my body right at the hip and then, you know, kind of do the drop from the hip. They are a little snug and don't flatter me as much as I was expecting or hoping on my midsection, but that's okay. Um, and then this corduroy shirt is, <laughs> she, baby, she is a little snug too, but I talked to my trainer and we've been doing chest, arms, and back. So I'm hoping to slim that area down a little bit just so I can feel a little more comfortable. I have larger arms. So the corduroy shirt, while I feel like it is true to size and you should go with your true to size, I did get this in a 2X, but sometimes, or rather most times, I have to size up to like a 3X just so I get the room in my arms so I can literally do this because otherwise I'd be like this, skirt, skirt, skirt. Like it just stops like right here when something's just too tight on the arms. So the corduroy shirt, I'm glad that, you know, it fits, but it is just a little snug. So I can probably do like this number, but I really want to be able to do this. You know what I mean? You feel me? So yeah, just go true to size. Um, but if you do have larger arms, then just be cognizant that you may need to go a size up. Now we'll also say that the corduroy shirt comes in a myriad of colors so there is no shortage of like you know a favorite color in there um the possibilities are endless with these colors and obviously this is going to be a great piece to add into your collection uh, because not only is it you know trendy and fashionable and something um, that we obviously see in the fall and winter um, but it is going to be functional it's going to keep you warm and y'all know how i feel about pieces that you know bridge the gap between function and fashion so those two pieces from Amazon, absolute favorites. Um, I'm excited about those. I did, like I said, add them to my Amazon storefront. So I think they're gonna be hanging out there for a long haul. They may move from fashion over to Everyday Cachet's favorites. So keep your eye out in either instance, the direct links are down in the description. Just a few more items, y'all. If you're enjoying this video so far though, go ahead and tap on the like button and let me know down in the comments below which trend from my earlier video are you excited or what have you bought to kind of like, you know, try. Um, and what item have you seen so far that you're like vibing, right? And if you wanna watch until the end of the video and then let me know down in the comments, I'll meet you there so we can discuss, you know, just some ways that you might be able to style some of these pieces if you decide to grab them, so. Let's chat down there. I'll meet you there in a few, but for now, let's get into our items that we picked up from Target. All right, y'all, so the next items that I picked up from Target are actually this Rad Heritage t-shirt dress from the Kalana Barfield Brown Collection. Both of these items are from the Kalana Barfield Brown Collection, um, but as you can see, this t-shirt dress has Kalana's face on it. I'm super excited. Um, this t-shirt dress gives you a, a multitude of ways that you can kind of style it, just based off of the colors that are on the dress. So 
obviously there's black, right? Um, there's some mustard, so I'm looking forward to throwing in some of that. Um, there's a mix between this like red and pink. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, should I tell y'all? <laughs> so I had an idea, I was like, ooh, a baker's boy hat with a low bun would just be perfect here. So I went over to the Ruslan Baginski site and I saw the magenta and um, red Ruslan Baginski hat, right? The little baker's boy hat. And I was like, oh, it'd be so good. Uh, but these colors are a little deeper than what the hat pictured. And I'm sad that I didn't order it because the actual hat the tones of the colors are deeper than what is pictured as well. So it really could have worked, but whatever. Um, so I am deciding to style this a different way. As you can see though, this kind of like stone cityscape gives you, you know, uh, an opportunity to play up on like the grays and mixed metals because the yellow kind of lends itself to like gold. Um, and then on the back here, I love this detail of the dress. I'm sure I'm showing it to you on screen, but it has a little lace up feature. And um, the metal on that is kind of like a, a brushed um, metal or black on the back side, but on the inside it shows up as silver a little more. Anyway, I'm really excited to style this. It falls just where I like it. Um, I did go down in size because I felt like the 2X was a little too large. So I got this in a size 1X. Um, and for the future collective items, the sizing was a little weird, but also uh, more recently for the uh, Sergio Hudson line, I was like, okay, the fall designer collabs and such, you know, the sizing was just, I was surprised that I could afford to go down a size, but I did just that and I'm glad about it because this falls exactly where I want it to. It definitely makes it a little more flirty, a little more fun, a little more fitted to the body body. And that's what I was going for. So excited about this. Um, but my absolute favorite is this leopard print denim dress. Oh my God. Oh my God. The future collective Kalana Barfield collection. Again, um, I am hoping that she restocks this dress for y'all because baby, it's a good one. Not only did I wear this in uh, my fall, you know, transition video, not only did I wear this in my fall transition outfits video um, where it was a little warmer so I was able to leave my leg out, but I very much intend to wear this as a shirt, maybe open front. It does come with a belt. So like, oh my God, just ugh, the styling opportunities, endless. I believe this um, retail for maybe 45 or $50. And if that much, it might've been a little cheaper, but I don't know, I'd be using Target, you know, your reward points in your wallet and then, and I had a gift card at the time. Anyway, I don't feel like I paid a lot for it. And even if I did, well worth it because the quality, top tier. The denim is heavy, right? It feels good on your body. Um, doesn't feel like something that's gonna wear easily, like wear out easily. <laughs> So yeah, this was a good grab. I did style it the first time I wore it with my Nike Sakai LD waffles in the Green Gusto colorway. But as we transition into uh, fall um, and then into winter, I have been thinking a lot about whether or not I could pull off the Nike and Atmos Animal Pack Air Max. Um, so let me see, I think I have it. Oof. Like, is there just a, is there a way? I don't know, I feel like we might be able to do it we'll see but yeah y'all just stay tuned like i said follow me over on instagram because if you're not you're doing yourself a disservice i'm trying to trying to show you the end product here we be building the looks we be putting the ideas together we be shopping <laughs> but over on instagram you get to see um the full you know and finished product so those are the two pieces that i got from target and next we're going to move on to the piece that i got from dolls kill and then lastly we'll talk about a couple of pretty little thing items that i think you should grab too all right so the item that i did grab from Dolls Kill is actually back here. She's right there. Um, but I decided to show you on screen because I feel like the fit and the wear of it is just something that would appear better both on the model, but also as you see me try and get on. So it is this mesh Renaissance-esque kind of um, uh, mock neck shirt. Love it. Love it. Now I ain't gonna hold you. The only thing that I don't love about this shirt is that like the people don't immediately look like me which is fine. Is it fine? It's okay. I'm, it's okay. I like the shirt, but I just didn't realize like how big the, you know, Renaissance characters were 
on the top and they're like front and center. And so it, just for where, you know, I intend to wear it or like with what, um, I'm just trying to be cognizant about that. So um, I love the way that it fits though. I did get that in a size 2X and I'm glad that I did. Mesh obviously is forgiving. So it fits well on the arms, fits well in the bodice. It doesn't like shrink shrivel like or you know gouge with too much fabric so she's you know got a nice kind of firm lay which i appreciate the um sleeves are not too big oh because one thing i can't stand is when the wrist on a sleeve is just sagging unless like that's how it's supposed to be but even with like balloon sleeves they usually use cuffs anyway off topic but yeah so I'm really glad that this fits in the way that it does I do intend to wear this with um, actually the leather mini skirt um, and then maybe like a vest or something uh, maybe layer this up with a fatigue jacket but she's definitely going to be like the first line of defense for something really cool um, so yeah I really like this and I hope y'all do too I think um, this was my first experience shopping dolls kill and I'm, I'm glad like I'm you know pretty straightforward item got here in record time like everything was good um, I think I paid just over $20 for it so it may have been either 18 or $22 and that was fine for me um, because I know I need it for a particular outfit uh, but I will definitely try shopping dolls kill again it just kind of depends on like if the items that I see up there are really gonna align with my style. And sometimes, you know, I find myself looking for something uh, like the item that I grabbed. So there is that item. And now lastly, let's talk about uh, the item that I grabbed from Pretty Little Thing. So I've actually already started to kind of style it. As you can see, I've got the New York Yankees hat. I have this beautiful um, scarf that kind of, you know, uh, matches both colors and in the hat and not that that i need the hat but the hat and um and the sweater but i don't know if y'all can see let me flip this that was a fail <laughs> um but this sweater is only secured by this little emblem i don't know if y'all can see but yeah um so you know what that means right the girls is gonna be out. They're gonna be out. They're gonna have to be taped up, sitting. They're gonna have to be, but but I need it. This Draco undefeated. You know what? Matter of fact, those car this would be a perfect piece. I don't know what I'm doing with the scarf yet. Don't ask. This is gonna be a perfect piece though to maybe match something like those um, or to style with those cargo jeans that I mentioned earlier in the video that would be a look just something real you know baggy gaudy but something real dainty and clearly okay without a lot of coverage up top you kind of got to balance it out in terms of shape and such but i'm excited too so this was the piece that i grabbed from pretty little thing but there are also a number of other items that i would recommend so i left a couple of my favorites down in the description so go check out some of those um, because again not only are we shopping for fall and winter but we're also shopping for this year's trends and some of those items are going to be found down below and if you didn't already, you know, go ahead and save my other video, um, the fall trends for this year to your watch later. I mentioned it again. I'll put it up there again so that you can um, go check that out. All right. This has been a phenomenal time. I'm so glad I was able to share with you some of the things that I've been picking up and I cannot wait to style these items um, or wear them or if you you know haven't already seen them, uh, I can't wait to also share these items with you over on Instagram. So be sure to follow me there, like I mentioned for like the 30th time um, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.